welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about fuel and fuel consumption on the MT-07. Now, one little uh, word from my sponsors. Yes, right, my sponsors. You guys who are watching, do us a favour, subscribe to the channel for more short automotive reviews on cars and bikes. Thank you very much. Anyway, enough of that. <laughs> Let's get on to the fuel consumption. Now the MT-07, this is a 2017 model, the 67 plate in the UK. Um, it's a 14 litre fuel tank in the spikes. Um, I think the um, Yamaha, that's all right, Yamaha, um, obviously state about 60 odd miles per gallon um, fuel consumption on this combined. But generally, as we know, it all depends on how we ride, what state of tune the bike's in, and things like that. Now, I've had this bike for, I don't know, I think I've done. Let's have a look now, shall we? Oh. Yeah, so I've done 3,700, as you look at the, uh, the speedo. 3,712. Now, if we cycle through, yeah, my combined, since I've had the bike, it's 69 miles per gallon. Now that is absolutely brilliant. Um, that's from when I first got my test um, and took the bike out. Um, so at first I was quite slow and plodding around, so was, I was getting into the 70s with this. But since since that, it's dropped down slightly, and that's purely down to um, obviously get a bit more experience, a bit more confidence, going a bit faster, shall we say. Um, and yeah, I the state of my bike's full system, anodized racing exhaust, just a quick run through. It's got the DNA stage two air filter with with the adapter um, for more airflow. It's also had the ECU tuned by Wiz Performance. So I don't know what horsepower, but all I know it runs a lot better. It's got a lot more mid-range punch. So you don't have to sort of work the bike so much. It's just, it, you know, the parallel twin, it's got torque everywhere, but this has just got more mid-range punch than ever before. So yeah, generally the answer is this bike is exceptional on fuel. It's one of the benefits of having this bike, to be honest. Um, now miles to a tank, I, I most I got was about I think it was about 172 miles, um, and this this was down to the last bar. It was on the last bar for a long time, so it wasn't even flashing. Um, it was quite conservative, long uh, run around Wales, so. It was 200 plus miles we did that day. Um, so yeah, it probably would have reached 200, you know, going onto the reserve and things like that. On average, with spirited drives and just local rides out for an hour or so, it, it, it tends to get between, say, 130, 140 uh, miles for a tank. But yeah, on a good journey, yeah, they're pretty good good going. Um, and that's, 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 that's a mixture of driving from quick dual carriageways to mostly A and B roads um, from where I live anyway and um, so yeah so I hope you know for anyone who's thinking what kind of uh, fuel consumption you get on a bike that helps I also run it a mixture I use more premium when the near a garage has got premium say shelf e-power it's a bit more pops and bangs as well I've noticed on downshifts and stuff and um, but yeah generally yeah if, if I had to put 95 in I'll put 95 in there's not a lot of difference and to be honest it doesn't take a lot to fill up so you don't really much notice much on your bank balance either and um, so all in all yeah do do as you're told give us a subscribe because it does help the the channel obviously i'm only only just died out so you know every little helps as they say at tesco's and um yeah stay tuned because i'll be uh, doing more videos on on top things i love and top things i dislike about the bike and there's other videos coming along as well um, as we can uh, get out of this uh, lockdown and actually get out on the road properly. Anyway, thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye.